Alkaline Fuel Cells AFCs. Introduction The alkaline fuel cell is the first and most studied among various types of fuel cells, mainly for use in space. Alkaline fuel cells were one of the first fuel cell technologies developed, and they were the first type widely used in the U.S. space program to produce electrical energy and water on board spacecraft. These cells are high-performance fuel cells due to the rate at which chemical reactions take place in the cell. They are also very efficient, reaching efficiencies of 60% in space applications. This fuel uses an alkaline electrolyte such as 40% aqueous potassium hydroxide in water as the electrolyte and can use a variety of non-precious metal as a catalyst at the anode and the cathode. In alkaline fuel cells, negative ions travel through the electrolyte to the anode where they combine with hydrogen to generate water and electrons. These fuel cells use a solution of potassium hydroxide as an electrolyte. The non-noble metal catalysts such as nickel, palladium, etc. are used in alkaline fuel cells. Characteristics of such cells are that they are very sensitive to carbon dioxide, CO2, because this will react with the potassium hydroxide, KOH, to form potassium carbonate, K2CO3, thus altering the electrolyte. Therefore, the dioxide, CO2, reacts with the electrolyte sullying it swiftly and rigorously degrading the fuel cell performance. Principle It works on the principle that fuel and oxygen electrochemically combine to produce electricity and water. This cell works optimally at 80 degrees Celsius in which hydrogen fuel is supplied to the anode electrode, while oxygen from the air is supplied to the cathode. At the anode side, Hydrogen undergoes an oxidation reaction that turns hydrogen into a positively charged ion and negatively charged electron. The negatively charged electrons travel through an external circuit that generates electricity and unifies with oxygen atoms at the cathode side. The voltage between the anode and cathode of a single fuel cell is between 0.9V and 0.5V depending on the load. Oxidation and reduction reaction takes place at anode and cathode, and, conducting ions in such cells are hydroxide ion, that is OH- ions. The advantages of alkaline fuel cells, AFCs, are They can operate at atmospheric pressure and at low temperature. They have low costs of the electrolyte and catalysts. They have good response time and fast start time. They have high electrical efficiency, 50% to 70%. They are simple in structure. They have low weight and volume, etc. Use of alkaline fuel cells, AFCs. Alkaline fuel cells, AFCs, are one of the most developed technologies and have been used since the mid-1960s by NASA in the Apollo and Space Shuttle programs. The fuel cells on board these spacecraft provide electrical power for onboard systems, as well as drinking water. The disadvantages of alkaline fuel cells AFCs, are They have disadvantages that it is easily poisoned by carbon dioxide. In fact, even in the small amount of carbon dioxide CO2, in the air can affect the cell's operation, making it necessary to purify both the hydrogen and oxygen used in the cell. Carbon dioxide, CO2, can combine with potassium hydroxide, KOH, to form potassium carbonate which will increase the resistance. This purification process is costly. Susceptibility to poisoning also affects the cell's lifetime. They have short operating life since they use a liquid solution of potassium hydroxide, KOH, as an electrolyte that is highly corrosive, thus eroding its parts. It required oxygen must be provided after purification since they are very intolerant of carbon dioxide. The electrolyte used is corrosive and it can attack the components with which it is in contact. They have high costs for commercialized applications etc. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more videos, bye bye, see you.